Today let us understand what are uh, arithmetic operators in C++. The basic arithmetic operators that you have here, there are uh, in fact two types of arithmetic operators. So, I will take up that first, unary operators and binary operators. So, first of all, let us see unary operator. Unary operators are basically that which act on one operand. Now, if I write something like this uh, a plus b, right, then this is the operator which is coming here and these are the operands, right. So, here there are two operands. So, when I say that unary operators work on only one operand, so there has to be only one operand here. So, if, if I have something like this plus a or minus a, this is a unary operator, right. So, unary operators are those that work, uh, that act on one operand, right. Now, here there are two types of unary operator, one is plus and one is minus. Uh, if I write something like this, plus 4, this will give me 4. If I write plus 5, this will give me 5. Whatever is the number, that same number will be written. If you write, uh, like let us take it like this, if a is equal to 5, right, okay, huh? then plus a will be 5, right. If b is equal to minus 4, right, then if you write plus b, then plus b will give the same number that is minus 4, right, okay. Hmm. Let us say if l is equal to 0, right. For 0, there is no negative or positive sign. So, whether you put plus or minus, it will be 0 only, right. So, this is basically the plus uh, unary operator. Now, let us see the minus unary operator here. Minus, right. If I write the same thing, a is equal to 5, right. Then minus a will be equal to minus 5. So, it will give the opposite sign, right, okay. If it is positive, it will be negative, answer will be negative and negative it will become positive, right. So, if I write b is equal to minus 4, then minus b will be equal to plus 4, right. And if I have the same thing l is equal to 0, then minus l will again be equal to 0 only, right. So, basically the minus unary operator, this reverses the sign of the operand's value. So, whatever is the operand's value, like in this case it is 5, it reverses that, right. Minus 4, it reverses that, it becomes plus 4. Whereas, in the plus unary operator, it is the same. Whatever is the number, the same sign, uh, the, whatever is the operand's value, the same value is given, right. Now, these are unary operators because they work on only one uh, variable or one operand. So, here we are writing plus a, plus b, then this is sorry, uh, I have written here, plus this should be plus l here. Plus l, right, okay. Hmm. So, there is only one operand. Now, we come to the binary operators. Binary operators work on two operands. Now, the binary operators that we have here is addition, that is the plus, subtraction, minus, multiplication, 
that is your asterisk division that is the slash and you have the modulus operator which is the percentage sign now these are the binary operators that we will be looking at and binary operators means two variables two values should be there so we can't uh, have the addition without two uh, two operands so two numbers have to be added so we write a plus b right right or it can be more than uh, two right so you write b plus c plus d right so this is basically the addition operator subtraction operator again a minus b like this right multiplication you know this is the asterisk sign here and division is this when I do a divided by b this is the division it gives the quotient of the division it gives the quotient right of the division and if I do the same thing but I put a modulus b then it gives the remainder it gives the remainder of the division fine so these are the uh, binary operators that we have so if I have here I will show you this one um, this one if I have a is equal to 22 and b is equal to 5 let's say right then a divided by b will give us 4 4 5 are 20 that is the quotient whereas a modulus b will give me 2 because 2 is the remainder right so we'll take up questions on this uh, binary operators uh, in our next session now today uh, i'll uh, come to one more uh, type of operator that we have here which is called the increment and decrement operators increment and decrement operators right increment operators basically it increments uh, the value of the operand by one and decrement operators it subtracts one from the operands value so here the increment operator is uh, basically plus plus and decrement operator is minus minus now if I have something like this a is equal to 5 and I want to I, I put a statement here a is equal to a plus 1 right so this is basically after this what happens after this the value of if you write c out a here the value of a will be 6 right now the same thing can be done like this a is equal to 5 I should write just a plus plus here this is again this a plus plus is the same as a is equal to a plus 1 right then if you write c out a it will also print 6 right so a plus plus is equivalent to a is equal to a plus 1 right one more uh, type I'll show you a is equal to a plus 1 you have the same thing can be done as a plus equal to 1 when you write this a plus equal to 1 this also means a is equal to a plus 1 but this is just not for 1 here we can put any number like a plus plus when, when you write a plus plus a plus plus is specifically for adding 1 but this one which I have shown here this one this we can write like this also a plus equal to 5 right or a plus equal to 100 a plus equal to 20 whatever you want this basically means this a is equal to a plus 5 so this is another way of uh, incrementing by any value that you want but a plus plus is basically for 1 right so this you should remember here a plus plus is equivalent to a is equal to a plus 1 right okay hmm? same way the decrement operator fine so here I write int b is equal to here I have written a is equal to 5 it's uh, basically the int data type here that should come like this right if you are writing a proper code right int b is equal to 20 let's say 
and here I say b is equal to b minus minus right. So sorry here I wanted to write this b is equal to b minus 1 b is equal to b minus 1 and then see out b. So this will give 19 the same coding can be written like this b is equal to 20 b minus minus so this is equivalent to b is equal to b minus 1 c out b right so here b minus minus is equivalent to b is equal to b minus 1 right okay now this i have shown you uh, just this a plus plus and b minus minus that we have shown uh, that i have shown here this a plus plus and b minus minus right in this you see that the plus plus and minus minus is coming after a and b this is called a post increment and this is called a post decrement right now we have another version of this like this plus plus a and minus minus b this is called a pre decrement and this is called a sorry pre increment pre increment and this is called a pre decrement so increment and decrement operators again can be two types pre and post fine now there is a difference like if I write something like this uh, a is equal to b plus plus and I write a is equal to plus plus b right both of them are different so in our next session I will uh, take up the post increment and pre increment uh, post and pre increment decrement operators in detail and I will show you how the difference uh, uh, comes about in this. So as of now we have understood the unary operators the binary operators and an introduction to the increment and decrement operators in C++. So with that I would like to end today's session bye.